if you're looking for an amazing file format for technical documentation, the one, at least in this humble author's opinion, you can't go past is ASCII doc. Now, I would rave about ASCII doc, I guess, till the proverbial cows came home, but I don't think raving is necessarily a cool idea. So what I want to do in this video is just to show you one particular hands-on reason as to why ASCII doc is cool. And that specifically is a tool that I will show you here, which is called ASCII-Doctor.js Live Preview. Now, what this does in a nutshell, as you can see here in the description, is that it will render ASCII doc, and that's any file that ends in .ad, .adoc, or .ascii doc, as HTML inside Firefox. Now, I say that for Firefox because this is the Firefox add-on. There's also an extension for Google Chrome and also one for Opera, I believe, but I would be assuming that Firefox and Chrome would get the lion's share of user views based on their market share. Now, what they do, as the name implies, is to take an ASCII doc file and render it and render it almost exactly as you would see it and also let you know about errors and so forth. The reason why this is a really good thing is because with so many other formats such as restructured text and it's sort of tool chain sphinx doc with markdown and, and doc book and so forth is oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes you do need to add or install uh, an entire tool chain just to do a preview. Now I'm the docs lead at OwnCloud, one of the things I do, and a challenge there has been for to get developers to document the code that they work on. Now we're all busy, so the last thing you want to do is put any impediments in someone's way just to write some documentation. So that's why I feel, I believe, it's I'm absolutely behind this, that ASCII doc is a, is, is a much better choice because it makes it so easy for you. Now it's easy for me to say that. Let's just show that in action. So you can see here I have got a copy of Vim running and it shows the contents of my latest book, which is Zend Expressive Fundamentals. Now you can see here that we've got the page or the section or the chapter header, a couple of paragraphs, an admonition here, and some more paragraphs down there. Like it, it goes on as we sort of scroll down, you can see some code samples and some unordered lists and so forth. All right, so your basic text in ASCII doc format that you would be writing. Now, if we flick back to Firefox, you can see here that it's rendered effectively as you would see it. Now, imagine that in contrast to something like Sphinx doc, where you have to run or to sort of rebuild your documentation from the command line, and then you can view it whether in PDF or HTML or whatever other format. With ASCII doc, you can just make a change as we will here. We'll hypothetically say how to create an application and we'll just update the header there. We'll go back to the browser and it's automatically updated. So you can see here that it does render correctly. You can see here roughly kind of what it would look like, allowing for styling and so forth. And see here, yep, did you make a mistake? Was the file included or not? Was it able to be found? Did a code sample render and so forth? Um, as you'd expect. Now this one here, don't worry too much about it. That's something I'll go into in another video. And so that is one key reason why I think working with the ASCII doc format is particularly fantastic. It just makes your life so much easier. And it does that by putting as few barriers in your way as possible. Anyway, that's it for this video. In others, I'm going to dive deeper into the ASCII doc format. I'll be looking at the recent addition to the ASCII doc or ASCII doctor family, which is Antora, which is sort of something akin to Sphinx doc and other tools for technical writing. But for this video, if you want to find out more, you can find more in the links in the description and details below this video. If you like what you saw, I would love it if you would like the video and subscribe to the channel so you know when more are released. And I'll see you in the next one.